bookworms. Today I'm here to do my December book haul. I actually never get too many books for Christmas because no one ever thinks they can find anything that I don't have because I usually like books are like my top priority so when I like a new book comes out that I want I usually get it for myself. Um, that's not to say that I don't have like 10 Amazon wish lists because I separate everything by genre but yeah I'm usually a difficult person to buy books for so my family usually steers clear of those uh, just to be on the safe side um, but I did exchange gifts with a couple of booktubers this year and I wanted to show those before I jump into the new releases that I got in December which there are, were very few of those um, but I still have lots of piles going on here so here we go. <laughs> So the first Christmas gift that I got, which I am like so excited about, is The Song of the Lioness Quartet by Tamora Pierce. I have been really wanting to read this series for so long and Alexa of Alexa Loves Books and her husband Mackie were kind enough to gift me with the entire series because both of them love it so much um, so they wanted to share it with me and I, I really am just like so excited because I've been wanting to read this for so long I just never like I don't know why I just never bought it before I never read it when I was younger um, and I really like I'm really, really excited. Uh, this is probably going to be one of my first like fantasy reads of the year because I just like I've wanted this for so long. I'm going to show you all of the covers. So this is a box set that came off of Amazon, but I'll show you what each individual cover looks like as well in case you're interested in buying your own copy. There is Alana, The First Adventure, In the Hands of the Goddess, The Woman Who Rides Like a Man, and finally, Lioness Rampant. So I am so excited and thank you so much, Alexa. Um, I will leave a link to Alexa's channel down below because she is an amazing person and you should absolutely follow her and watch her videos. Next up, I received Salt to the Sea by Ruta Sepetes. Um, This is from Jane of It's Jane Lindsay. Jane is another booktuber that I've been fortunate enough to become friendly with over the past year. We met each other at BEA and she is so super nice and I really really enjoyed just watching all of her reviews and everything because she is probably one of like the most brutally honest booktubers um, and I just really appreciate her opinions on things um, and she reads a good amount of books so she's definitely interesting to follow. Um, I will also leave a link to her channel down below uh, but thank you so much Jane I really wanted to read this one. This is a historical novel and it covers an event that is not really talked about in history very much and all of the people that I know that have read it seem to really enjoy it um, and I definitely have had this one on my radar for a while. Okay and I also got another um, book from my The Broken the Bookish Secret Santa, but I'm gonna show you that one later on in my haul because it's in the middle of a really big pile and I just can't get it out at this moment. <laughs> So now some new releases. So this is actually a January new release, but I was able to get a copy in December because Big Honcho Media, um, who works with Disney Books, sent me one um, because I was able to actually interview the author. So that is Wayfarer by Alexandra Bracken. I was able to do a phone interview with Alexandra and I'm so excited. I cannot wait to get that up. Um, I'll definitely leave a link to that down below, but I really was just so excited to get this and to have this be my last read of 2016 because I loved Passenger so very much. Actually Passenger was my last read of 2015 so it was really nice to end the year the same way with a series that I really really adore. So I really enjoyed this book. It continues to follow the story of Nicholas and Etta. There's time travel, there's pirates, there's tons of family secrets, there's like family wars going on. It's so interesting and you just get to see so many different eras in history so it's a really really fun read especially if you enjoy historical fiction. Another new release that I got in December which is not actually a novel is the Pokemon cookbook. It's says easy and fun recipes. I've really been looking forward to trying to make some of these because in case you are not aware I love Pokemon um, as you probably know from the huge period of time where I was talking about Pokemon Go constantly um, but I really enjoy it. I actually just charged up my 3DS so that I can start playing Pokemon Moon because Andrew has already pretty much beaten Sun and I am way far behind him but I needed to focus on some reading so that's why I didn't get to play it but 
that is like a big priority for the beginning of this year. So that was really it for December releases. There was really like pretty much nothing on my list that um, was new that I wanted to get. There were a couple of November books that I didn't get to include in my November haul because they came out like after I filmed my November book haul. So I will show you those, but again, they're at the bottom of the pile. So they're coming up, but these are like lots of backlist books that I've picked up in the month of December. So first I finally got Milk and Honey by Rupi Kapoor. This is a poetry collection and I just see this all over bookstagram all the time and I've heard other people talk about it. Supposedly it is very enjoyable so I am really looking forward to reading this. I really want to kind of make it a goal to read some more poetry this year because it's a yeah it's like a genre that I don't really tend to read very often but I do enjoy it when I do make the effort to read it so I'm excited for this. In my last book haul I showed off this edition of The Lies of Locke Lamora. It was the 10th anniversary edition and it's so pretty and I really like it um, but the company that made it actually came out with some more 10th edition books um, in the same vein and I had to pick those up. So here I have a beautiful edition of The Final Empire which is the first book in the Mistborn series by Brandon Sanderson. I just think this is such a beautiful hardcover and I really hope that they come out with like a beautiful box set of them because I will be first on the pre-order list. I actually need to continue this series this year. I really really loved the first one um, and I'm really looking forward to reading more of it but this was just like such a beautiful collector's item that I wanted to have for my shelves. I love like just the whole design of it. It's really pretty. And then another 10th anniversary edition that I was able to pick up that is also part of like the same collection um, is The Blade Itself by Joe Abercrombie. This is the first book in the, I think it's called the First Law series, but this also came very highly recommended to me and a podcast that I listen to, like one of the girls on it is just obsessed with Joe Abercrombie and everything that he does. So I have really been wanting to read it for a while, but I have paperback versions and I don't like transporting those just in case they get yeah, bent or something in my purse. So I'm excited to have a hardcover and I'm definitely going to read this one like very soon. The next book that I picked up is one that I had not heard anything about. So I'm really, really excited to have discovered it. It's called Puck. It's by Kim Askew and Amy Helms. Um, and this is actually a YA retelling of A Midsummer Night's Dream by Shakespeare. So that alone like sold me on this but it follows a troubled girl who gets shipped off to this summer camp um and apparently there are very like strange camp counselors there and just characters not well people that are like characters themselves because they're funny that she goes to camp with and it's supposed to be really really fun obviously Midsummer Night's Dream is an amazing Shakespeare book so I just like the fact that it was adapted and that I didn't really hear anything about it was really surprising to me and I was just really excited to to find this one. I'm probably gonna read this one very soon. Then I picked up Heart's Blood by Juliette Merlier. Juliette Merlier is an author that I am planning on finally reading in 2017. Um, she typically writes adult fantasy novels and I, as I keep saying I want to read more adult fantasy and she has really been like very very high on my list of authors that I want to get to. My friend Melissa read Heart's Blood and she really loved it. It's a Beauty and the Beast retelling and I found a used hardcover copy on Amazon for a very reasonable price so I just couldn't pass it up and I'm really excited to have it, really excited to read it and just really like read more Juliet Marillier this year. Then I got A Torch Against the Night by Saba Tahir. I already have this book but I do not have the UK edition of this book except now I do. So I really really wanted this because well first of all I just love that series so much like it's so much better than I was expecting. I know everyone kept raving about it and I was like there's too much hype. I am not gonna love this as much as everyone else but I really do like I really love that series. So I actually liked the second book better than I liked the first book but the reason that I was so like hellbent on acquiring this other edition is because look at the spine. It's a shiny copper spine. It is so beautiful to me. Like, I just love this so much. Um, I'm gonna take so many bookstagram photos of it. I like, I really just wanted this one so much and I, I'm seriously dying for the first book in Ember in the Ashes in the UK hardcover edition, which is impossible to find. I looked on Book Depository, I looked on eBay where I could purchase it for $600 without free shipping, which that's ridiculous. So I just like, I'm on the hunt for that book and I, I feel like I need to get it, I need to have it in my collection and it's been like 
hopefully it'll be one of those things that I just like find one day and it'll it'll be the best. But yeah, I really love this edition. That was a long tangent, but I have lots of feelings about the number in the ashes. Now is one of the books that I received from my The Broken the Bookish Secret Santa. That is The Doldrums by Nicholas Gannon. This is a middle grade, I believe it's fantasy, and I think it's a series, but it sounds really, really interesting. It's about this boy named Archer who lives in, in this house with all of these like really cool artifacts and all of them were collected by his grandparents who were famous explorers but they went missing on this iceberg um, and ever since then Archer is not really allowed to leave his house because I guess his mom is nervous that something's gonna happen to him as well but it sounds like it's gonna be really really interesting and I have really been looking for kind of like a whimsical fun middle grade fantasy to read um, so I think that this will definitely satiate that desire. And Caitlin also gave me Harry Potter, the postcard coloring book. Um, so these, this is like 20 postcards that you can color that are all Harry Potter themed. And I'm really excited because I have so many of the Harry Potter coloring books, but I do not have the postcard one. So this was like the perfect thing. Then I have this gorgeous monster of a book. Um, it is A Monster Calls, the art and vision behind the film, written by Desiree de Fez and um, actually Focus Features was kind enough to send me this book. They contacted me through Instagram and asked me if I would be interested in receiving a copy and I was like, uh-huh, thank you. So they mailed it out to me and it is just gorgeous. Um, I have yet to see the film of A Monster Calls because the subject matter hits very close to home for me and it's something that I am like a little bit sensitive to so I've been hesitant to see it. I did read the book and I, I loved the book. I did think that it was really beautiful but getting this book and just flipping through it has really made me want to see the movie so I think I'm gonna have to do that and just get my emotions ready. Then if you've watched any of my previous videos, I'm sure you're aware of how much I enjoyed This Is Our Story by Ashley Elston. So after I read that, I immediately wanted to read everything else that she has written. So I picked up her past duology, um, which is called The Rules for Disappearing. The first book being The Rules for Disappearing and then the second book being The Rules for Breaking. And I believe that this is another like thriller type mystery series and I do not want to know anything about it because I loved This Is Our Story and I have like complete faith that I'm gonna love this as well and I just want to go in completely blissfully blind. Now I'm down to those November releases that I couldn't reach. So first is Lauren Graham's Talking As Fast As I Can, From Gilmore Girls to Gilmore Girls and Everything In Between. I'm really interested in reading this. It's a very tiny, tiny book, so I should be able to read this very quickly, but I really like Lauren Graham. I thought that she did an amazing job on Gilmore Girls as Lorelai, and I feel like that is similar, like the way that she speaks and everything is very similar to how she is in real life from interviews that I've seen. So I'm definitely interested in just reading more about her and about her story. She is an awesome lady. <laughs> and then I also got the 10th anniversary edition of Vampire Academy. I can't believe that Vampire Academy is already 10 years old, but I thought that this was really, really pretty. Um, I, actually, I think I have the movie tie-in edition for the first book in the series, so I was definitely looking to get a different one. And not that this matches the rest of the series either, but I just think that the, like, the bleeding rose on it is really pretty, so I wanted to add this to my collection. Then I got the UK paperback editions of the Mortal Instruments because they're very colorful and very pretty um, and I just like how they look better than the American versions that I already have so I'm going to try to do this in order. So first is City of Bones. Book two is City of Ashes. Book three is City of Glass. Book four is City of Fallen Angels. Book five is City of Lost Souls. And book six is City of Heavenly Fire. So I just think that these are really pretty. I'll show you how their spines look all next to each other. I just think it makes a really pretty bookish rainbow thing going on. So I'm glad that I got these ones. Then I got The Amateurs by Sarah Shepard. This is our Spines with Wines book club book of the month for December. The live show is coming on January 6th which means that I need to read this because it's January 3rd and I haven't started. But I will leave a link to the live show down below in case that video goes up before this video. Hopefully I liked it, but it's a mystery and it's Sarah Shepard, so I feel like I'll be able to fly through this and it will probably be very interesting because um, I love her 
Pretty Little Liar series. It's like a guilty pleasure read. Not even guilty because like I just do enjoy it, but it's like a mindless kind of thing to read. Um, so I'm hoping that this series will be the same. Then I picked up Too Late by Colleen Hoover. To be honest, I'm a little bit worried about this one because it is self-published by her and I have heard that it is very intense. Um, and when I say that, I mean that it tackles very sensitive subject matter. So I'm not sure if it's something that I definitely am going to enjoy. I, unfortunately, I didn't hear those things until after I purchased the book, so I'm gonna have to just read it and see for myself. I do like the cover because it's like a galaxy, but time will tell what I think. Then I got Of Fire and Stars by Audrey Colhurst, and this was the book that came in my Owl Crate for December. I will leave a link down below to that unboxing. It follows the story of a princess who falls in love with another princess when she's supposed to marry that girl's brother, the prince, and it's a fantasy novel, and it sounds really interesting. The next thing that I got is something that I probably should have showed earlier because it is such an exciting addition to my collection, and that is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone the special 10th anniversary edition of the first book. The last couple of months I've been doing a Harry Potter haul at the end of every month and I didn't plan one for this month because quite honestly things have been pretty chaotic and I cannot remember all of the Harry Potter things that I got. There are a couple of things that I'm now thinking of off the top of my head but maybe I'll get them together for uh, like a January haul of some sort but I'm really excited to have this book. I think it's really pretty. And then also one of the, like the most fun things about this is if you open it and take the jacket off, look at how pretty that is. It's even pretty naked. So I love this. Then I picked up Winter Street by Ellen Hildebrand. I have not yet read any of her books, but I've heard really good things about them. She's an adult writer, and this is a Christmas novel that I didn't get to read this year, so I'm probably gonna read it next year, but it follows a family on Nantucket, which is a place that I really wanna go to because I loved Layla Howland's um, Nantucket Blue and Nantucket Red duology. So as soon as I heard the words Christmas and Nantucket in one, like, one first sentence description I was like sold. So I'm really looking forward to, to getting to this one. My friend Lauren read it um, from Bookmark Lit. I will leave a link to her blog down below because it's beautiful and she really enjoyed it so I picked it up on her recommendation and I am really excited to get to it next Christmas which is so close or so I tell myself. Then I picked up um, Leviathan Wakes by James S.A. Corey. It's the first novel in the Expanse series, which is a sci-fi series, and there is a TV show on sci-fi, I, I believe it's on sci-fi, called The Expanse, and it is a sci-fi series, which is something that I want to read more of. It's very long. I believe there are six books in total, and I've heard nothing but good things about it. It's pretty big, and I'm really just looking forward to, like, getting lost in this one, and I think I want to read it before I start watching the TV show. Then I got The Blinding Knife and The Broken Eye by Brent Weeks. These are the second and third books in the Lightbringer series. I'm currently reading the first book in this series. I'm only a chapter in, but so far it seems interesting. And it came very highly recommended to me, so I decided to just get what was currently available. They're enormous. Like, each book just gets bigger than the last book, so it's a little bit intimidating of a series to pick up, but I really am looking forward to just getting into this world because it sounds like it has a lot of elements and fantasy that I really appreciate. And finally, the last book that I have to show you is Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. This book sounded so fascinating. Um, I read the synopsis of it and it follows a guy who is knocked unconscious by someone. Um, the last sentence that they say to him before he's knocked unconscious is, are you happy with your life? And then he wakes up like strapped to this like gurney and he's surrounded by people in hazmat suits and he's in a completely different life than he is accustomed to having. So I believe the whole book is about him trying to figure out whether the life that he knew was real life or the life that he's in now is real life. Um, and it just sounds really cool and like mind bending. So I'm looking forward to it. And I, I did not realize, but apparently this author, Blake Crouch, also wrote uh, Wayward Pines, which didn't really like that TV show. So that is something <laughs> like a little mark that he might have against him. But I'm hoping that this book is going to be really good. So those are all of the books that I acquired in December. There were quite a few of them as is the trend with my book hauls. So let me know if you saw anything that you maybe didn't know about before that you want to read, um, if you've added anything to your TBR, or if you know of any other special editions of books that I might enjoy, because clearly 
I am a sucker for those. So that is all that I have for this video and I will see you guys soon with a new one. Bye! Thank you.